To access the belt and tensioner, you will first need to remove the air box, red arrow. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. With the air box removed, use a 30mm wrench and place it on the nub on the tensioner lever, red arrow, and turn the nub clockwise and slip the belt off the pulley, yellow arrow. You will not need to remove the 16mm bolt and spacer if you are just reinstalling the belt. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with belt replacement. This image shows the complete tensioner system out of the vehicle as it is difficult to get a good shot of it installed. The tensioner lever, yellow arrow, the strut, red arrow, and the pulley, green arrow, are the main components. This image shows the tensioner installed in the vehicle, the lever, yellow arrow, and the strut, red arrow, which is partially hidden, and the pulley, green arrow. If the pulley is making noise or it has any play in it, you need to replace it. Use a trim removal tool or a small flathead screwdriver and begin by prying the cap off the pulley. Then use a T50 torque to remove the bolt holding the pulley to the lever. Installation is the reverse of removal. Torque the bolt to 23 newton meters or 17 foot pounds. Here you can see a new pulley. The red arrow indicates the bearing and the seal which can go bad. The T50 torque that holds the lever to the engine has very little room to work and remove it. Green arrow. You will not be able to use a standard torque bit or a socket and ratchet to remove it as the engine carrier, red arrow, interferes with it. Do yourself a huge favor and buy or borrow the proper tool. Schwaben makes a stubby torque set that I use and it makes the job simple. Remove the bolt for both the lever and the lower one holding the strut on and remove the lever and strut from the vehicle as one piece. You need to remove the lever and strut from the vehicle because the top of the strut is screwed to the lever from behind, green arrow. The lower part of the strut connects to the engine, red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. When installing, make sure the strut is orientated in the correct direction with the arrow pointing up, yellow arrow. Torque all hardware to 23 newton meters or 17 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.